Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and we are at the launch of the Hyundai Kona. This is an all-electric SUV, the first of its kind to launch in the country. And let's get the most important news out of the way. It is priced at a whopping 25 lakhs, 30,000 rupees. Now, with that out of the way, let's take a look at everything that this car has to offer. So, first of all, it can charge a complete charge, which can take you to about 452 kilometers in six hours overnight with the provided charger. The car comes with two chargers, one which is a portable charger that you can carry with you. It will fit into any three-pin socket. And in about three hours, it can charge and give you about 50 kilometers of range. But if you use the provided charger that can be installed in your house you can get up to 50 kilometers of range in one hour and a full charge in about six to seven hours um, the engine is under the hood and of course you are seeing the footage of that right now and it doesn't look like a traditional engine for the obvious reason is because it is an electric engine and the boot space uh, houses uh, the charger where you can keep the portable charger uh, the length of the charger that's provided is really really long but when it comes to the looks of this car as you can see it has a very Hyundai signature to it and of course the grille is absent because you really don't need that airflow coming in however the front houses the charging port as well it is hidden right here so you can actually just open it up and charge the car as and when needed you have uh, drls daytime running leds all around the fog lamps and you get 17 inch alloy wheels every design element of the car actually screams hyundai and we are actually going to get inside the car and check out the infotainment system but before that let's get into the driver's seat so once you get in you have the standard array of two tweeters and four speakers you have two pedals down there which is the accelerator and the brake of course being a more automatic engine you aren't actually going to have to shift into gears now the driver's seat is actually pretty standard it's comfortable but it is this instrument cluster which is actually really really cool so it actually can also uh, show you the kilometer range that you have right now i have put it in sports mode and with a simple click of the button you can actually change the modes wherein eco eco plus comfort and sports and as you can see right now you have a range of 265 kilometers if i actually keep this button pressed out here it goes into an eco plus mode which keeps the cruising speed at about 90 kilometers an hour it doesn't allow you to cross that just so that you can get the best uh, efficiency from the battery and another thing that i really like is how the instrument cluster changes its uh, avatar its look and feel to suit the mode that you are in coming to the steering wheels you have the standard array of steering controls which includes answering your calls changing your channels volumes controlling the modes voice assistance something that we've seen as a real standard on a lot of hyundai vehicles we also have a really really nice display out here which gives you a lot of information right now it's giving you all the energy information such as your range uh, the battery charge level and of course a whole lot more you have uh, the ability to go home see the entire menu it supports android auto and apple carplay so you really don't need to worry about uh, your apps being on this you have the fm radio media as well below here you have the air conditioning controls which are pretty standard to what we've seen on hyundai vehicles you also have the aux and usb in in this really neat flap you can you know keep your keys and other things you have of course the parking neutral reverse and uh, drive controls out here along with the handbrake and a set of controls out here for the air conditioning as well as the different driving modes and of course some storage space out here the seats are fairly comfortable and uh, considering the suv standards the space might be a little cramped but the thing is it is actually a pretty neat looking car how it performs on the roads is something we will only be able to know when we have the ability to take it out in the delhi noida traffic where we usually do check out cars but on a first look these two colors we have a white one out here a blue one back there both the cars in their colors look really interesting to recap this was the hyundai kona price at 25 lakhs 30000 rupees we gave you a glimpse at the infotainment system in there its electric capabilities and we are going to leave you with a few more features of the car before we say goodbye along with the standard car warranty of 3 years unlimited kilometers the kona electric is backed by 8 years 160000 kilometers of battery warranty us further Adding to the customer delight is the low running cost of Kona Electric, which is around one-fifth of an equivalent petrol engine vehicle. Hyundai Motor is fully committed to boost eco-mobility in India and is ensuring enhanced after-sales service support for its EV owners. In terms of home charging infrastructure, a third-party service provider support is extended to the customers to install the level 2 wall-mounted AC charger, which comes at no additional cost. 
in addition to providing devil to ac chargers at ev showrooms and workshops hyundai has also collaborated with iocl to set up dc fast chargers at their select existing uh, gas stations to start with four chargers will be coming up very soon in delhi chennai mumbai and bangalore markets additionally a dedicated ev care manager will be assigned to the ev owners to take care of their after sale service needs and queries moreover 24/7 emergency roadside assistance will also provide on site charging in select cities in case of any emergency through a portable charger van or through vehicle to vehicle charging so thank you for your time and now we present kona electric india's first all electric suv thank you Hey guys as you can see we are in the driver's seat of the Kona and we have adjusted the seat's height and positioning to our preference um it is an electric car we are going to be able to push it to about 100 km here on the Bud International circuit and if my voice is sounding a little muffled it's because they've geared us up in all safety gear right here we have put the car in sports mode we are waiting for the lead car to get us in you can actually change the modes out here if you can see we have the driving modes right now it's in eco it's in comfort but we are going to drive it in sports right now because well we are driving on a race track we have three laps to get through we are waiting for the lead car to let us go we're in car number 1 so i have to maintain some speed to give the others a bit of a run for their money so let's see how it goes and uh, you can check out our drive <laughs> okay then This really is like driving a toy car but it's a lot more powerful I've touched 100 by in sports mode by just tapping at the accelerator and I can definitely go a lot faster I'm a little scared cuz that's the limit that's been told to us but this car can definitely handle it it's smooth it's quiet and it is a breeze of an entertainment to drive uh There's no noise like you're used to hearing the revving of an engine it's an automatic so you're kind of used to changing gears at least I am because I'm used to driving more of a stick shift than anything else but an automatic and this is just so comfortable you can't you feel it's an electric car but mostly just because of the noise the power and pickup seems fairly fine the driver seat is quite comfortable it's quite spacious as well uh but the rest of the car could be a little bit cramped because Uh at the back you might not have as much uh, space to sit. I'm about 5 10 and a half and for me the driver seat right now is really comfortable. The AC is powerful enough even considering the fact that I'm a little muffled in this in this headgear which is supposed to keep me safe. But yeah, total breeze to drive this car. It, it's fun. Whether it actually lives up to its mileage reputation is something we'll have to see we're driving it on a track which is why it is so comfortable to drive right now you do have a power to charge meter also which represents just exactly when you break the power being delivered back to the battery to maintain some charge uh typical stuff that you would see in an e vehicle and yeah it is pretty exciting But then again I think I'm getting a little carried away because this is the Bud International circuit where we are driving this car on some really tight corners. Oh. And now we're on a straight to see our absolute speed killing abilities. Driving at 110 km an hour, 115, 120, 140 nearly touched. And the car goes beeping as crazy as ever. The brakes also feel really nice and tight. No problem in the braking whatsoever. I am a little afraid of the guy behind me. He's a little too close for comfort, but yeah. 
Despite the fact that this is an all electric vehicle, it does feel very comfortable to drive. It is really smooth around the corners, no problem whatsoever. Uh, you may feel a little bit of a body roll if you're sitting at the back based on the way we've been turning, but in the front, you absolutely get a feeling of control in the car. And that's the beauty of it. It's so silent and it is just so quick also that you don't even, you know that this is an electric car and you're like, oh, this is an electric car. So yeah, we're nearly at the end of our drive and how this car handles in the city is definitely something we will have to see when we can actually drive it on city roads. But on the Buddha International Circuit out here, cornering at 70 kilometers an hour, driving at 135 at some point is what I saw. Uh, it was fun. This is the first time I've driven an electric car. It's an automatic, no shift. It was fun. We drove it in sports mode through and through for this experience. Well, that was a first drive and a look at the newly launched Hyundai Kona. Just to recap, the price is 25 lakhs, 30,000 rupees. And for more from the world of technology, you can stay tuned to digit.in. Guys, we will catch you in another video. It's uh, goodbye for now.